all right this is the fourth video in our video series in which we are going to build this website from scratch using only html5 and css so in this part we are going to make the cover image the banner text as well as the three box design below the image and up till the previous video we have created the navigation bar and the pulsing effect button so we have completed up till here and now let's start with this video so beyond the header tag that is outside the header tag let's begin with the cover image so create a div and class d hyphen flex hyphen c space container d hyphen flex hyphen c class is going to make sure that the banner text that we are going to define under this will be stacked next to each other in different rows but within a single column then container class is going to add the padding within it then w70 class is going to make sure that this div gets the 70% of the width of its container which is the wrapper then text hyphen white means we want the text color to be white then id banner hyphen text all right then get inside and let's create a p tag and class subtitle space font hyphen access because this is going to be the subtitle above the title of the website so let me just copy the text from the example page and paste it all right and now we will define the main heading so create a h1 tag class title font hyphen x4 so whatever font size that we have defined in the font x4 class will be used here then you can write any title that you want all right let's see in the browser all right Then again let's create a p tag and add some more subtitle. Alright. I'm using the same text from our example page so that I can create the exact replica of the website but you don't have to do that you can put your own text or whatever that you want to put in then let's create the button below the text create a div and within the div create a e tag since we don't have any reference for this button so just leave a hash symbol and class btn space btn hyphen pink space font hyphen access and as i have told you already if you want to have a button of different color you can just skip this btn hyphen pink class and instead define a new class let's say btn hyphen red and then define the color in the btn hyphen red class in the css to get the red color and everything else will remain the same and you will still have this pulsing effect as well then let's write the text within the button all right now let's define the three boxes below the text So create a div and class w-70 
so w-70 is going to make sure that this div gets the 70% of the width of its container which is the wrapper of the section then text hyphen dark is going to make sure that the font color of the text that we are going to put inside is going to be dark gray it is not complete black but it is kind of a dark gray then text center will make sure that the text is aligned in the center then the d hyphen flex hyphen r is going to make sure that the three boxes that we define are next to each other in a single row but within different columns and let's have id box so that it is easier for us to reference this part and make any changes that we want to make and also if you want to align the title and the subtitles in the center then just add text hyphen center here to the div all right that depends upon you then let's begin with the first box which is going to have the white color background so the class box hyphen item bg hyphen white then get inside and create a i tag then class fas space fa hyphen coffee space text hyphen pink space font hyphen x2 so fas space fa hyphen coffee are the two classes that we need to use to get the font awesome icon for the coffee then the text hyphen pink is going to make sure we get the pink colored text and the font hyphen x2 will give the font size which we have defined in the respective class let's see in the browser all right then below it create a h4 tag and the class text hyphen black space font hyphen x1 and let me just copy the text from the website all right then get below it and create a p tag and font hyphen access all right so we have completed one box let's just copy this entire div containing the class box item and paste it so that we can get the second box in the same way paste it once again and this will be the third box and uh, we need to change the bg hyphen white to bg hyphen pink in the second box because we want the background to be in pink color then we need to change the name of the font awesome icon for the second box that is fa hyphen clock then we need to change the heading as well In the third box also we need to change the name of the font awesome icon then the heading All right.
okay so pink color is not coming because uh, okay i made a mistake we have not defined any bg hyphen pink but instead we have defined bg hyphen light pink so let's make the correction all right so the html part is over let's move to the css let's start with the cover image so hash top hyphen part and background url img forward slash bg hyphen one dot jpg space fixed space no hyphen repeat so this background is a shorthand property for defining many more properties within it like the background color the image position size and many more and the first part is the background image where we have defined the image then this fixed is for the background attachment which means uh, because this background attachment property sets whether a background image scrolls with the rest of the page or is fixed so in short background hyphen attachment property is the one which is responsible for giving us the parallax image so the image will be fixed to its position when we scroll through the page then the next part is no hyphen repeat the background repeat property sets if or how a background image will be repeated all right so you can see the image then minimum height to 992 pixel so that we can increase the height then background size cover so the background size property specifies the size of the background image and since we have used cover so the image will be resized to cover the entire container even it has to stretch the image or cut a little bit then background position center all right we have increased the height of the image but the height of the overlay is still the old one that's why the photo effect is not covering the entire image or the overlay class is not covering the entire image so let's do that all right then let's style the banner text which defines the title and the subtitle so let it start with top 50 pixel padding left 50 pixel All right. Then let's style the title within it. That is the main heading. And increase the font weight. And in the subtitle also, we want it to be bold. All right. Now let's align the boxes in the middle of the container. For that, we will use the ID box.
so margin top 10 rem margin right and left to auto then hash top hyphen part space hash box greater than sign dot box hyphen item so this will work like the first the first element will have the id top hyphen part then within it we will have a element with id box then within this box element we will have a box hyphen item class which is a direct child of the box item or the box element then padding 3 rem all right this will be all around it then let's do some media queries let's start with the 1024 pixel width we will reduce the height of the image and similarly we will have to reduce the size of the overlay class Then copy this entire block and for the next level of breakpoint we need to do the same. Right. then below 640 pixel we want to change the orientation of the boxes that is we want the boxes to be aligned vertically in different rows so for that we are using the d hyphen flex hyphen r class and we'll just change the direction of the flex right so with this this part of the tutorial is also complete